Hi everybody, I wanted to pop on today and remind you that relationships persist after physical existence, which means your loved ones are always connected to you after they pass. I have a huge audience of pet lovers and many of you wish to connect with your pets after death. I do have some meditation videos on this channel, but many of you actually are experiencing the grief from losing a significant loved one. And I just wanna remind you that that string of connection, that quantum entanglement that you have with your loved one, it still exists. I teach people how to heal their grief, how to increase their frequency and vibration so that they can have authentic afterlife connections because I find that it's the best way to heal grief. Knowing that your loved one is on the other side is sometimes the most challenging thing because we feel a loss of love and oftentimes a very sudden loss of love and relationship. When we think that our loved one is dead and that they no longer exist, something within us dies as well. And our connection, the severing of our communication and our connection is why we suffer. So it's not so much about just healing the energy of grief. It's not just about finding healing and hope after losing a loved one, but it's about really changing your consciousness around love and loss and around the death of your loved one. When you start to really explore the afterlife and explore what comes next, you'll be met with many amazing synchronicities and proof of the afterlife that will fill your heart, will give you hope and reconnection. So I'd like to challenge you today. I'd like to challenge you as you move forward to just ask heaven, ask the fates, ask your angels and guides, ask your loved ones specifically, ask them for a sign that they are still with you. Oftentimes that's all you need is just a little reassurance to know that your loved one is still with you, that they know what's going on in your life and that they are still around. So I'm gonna ask you to put it out there. Ask them right now, just close your eyes and take a moment and say, give me a sign. Please give me a sign that you're with me still. And then that's it, that's all you have to do. And as you move throughout your day, I want you to increase your awareness Really pay attention to who you talk to, the music you hear, the shape of the clouds. Look down when you're walking and notice. Do you happen to notice that above you there are clouds shaped in the form of a heart? Or do you get little heart shapes when you look down and see rocks with little white hearts on them or black hearts or whatever it is? You may see a little heart in leaves. You may see it on the trunk of a tree. I tell people to pay attention to everything in their surroundings, any synchronistic event that occurs after you have had a heartfelt desire is considered an answer from the spirit world. So please do pay attention to your surroundings, pay attention to voices, to names, to songs, to different things that you hear. You could even, if you're all alone, just go out and mingle with people go to the mall, go to a restaurant and listen, fine tune your hearing so that when you hear specific names being called, it may be somebody next to you talking or calling out to their child that has the same name as your loved one who passed. You might be introduced to a brand new person who also has the same name as your loved one who passed. There are so many different ways that this can show up, but I'm telling you to put your request out there. Just because you have a longing in your heart doesn't mean the spirit world knows you want to have signs and symbols. And signs and symbols to me are like sign language from the spirit world. This is how they communicate. Of course, you can hear an audible voice if you're clear audience. You may have a dream visit. You may have a physical apparition of your loved one. All of these things are possible and happen all the time as well. But the easiest way for your loved one on the other side to make contact with you and bring a little inspiration back to your heart and help you know that they're around so that you can reconnect with them is through the signs and symbols. Signs and symbols are the language of the spirit world. 
So I would love for you to share what your signs and symbols are as you're paying attention to this. As you move throughout the day, come back to this video. Please write them down in the comments, share them with others so that other people who are grieving can also feel inspired to find their own signs and symbols that connect them back to their loved one who has passed. Your comments encourage other people who are grieving and you help people by sharing your experiences. So please do share your experiences in the comments here. This is a beautiful, loving community. We believe in the afterlife. We support your journey through the grief healing process. And we want to encourage you to really embrace the whole journey of life and death and the afterlife and really know that our connection, it's eternal. Thank you guys for being here. I love you and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.